Hello friends, in this video we are going to be discuss about how to send API key in header at postman. Before sending this API key, you should generate one API key from your local server or any other website. So go to Google Chrome. So this is my channel which is Natasa Tech under playlist you can find API testing at postman. This playlist will give you Postman related tutorial videos. How we can start, how we can install, everything I clearly explained here. Okay, you should go through it. Now we are move to how to generate API key. We can find with us Postman API in Google. This is, will give you some suggestion result. Here you can open this first link which is Postman public workspace this is official postman site which will provide you free api url for practicing api automations inside postman as well as rest assured okay so here if you are not in login user you should sign up for free okay now i'm going to be tell you how you can sign up here after open this url this is the screen you will be get here you can find sign in and sign up for free click on the sign up for free here you will be get the create postman account page here you can provide all the account details click on create free account after that you will be login user for this site so anyway already i have created my account i'm directly signing here So click on signing. So after signing my account, you can find this icon, which is account icon. Click on this account icon. Here you can find account settings. Go to here. Here you can find API keys. Click on this API keys. Here you can see already the API key generated because already I have generated. If you are newly generating means should select this option which is generate API key. If you are click this generate API key will give you the API key for this one. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to be regenerate here. If you want to regenerate from existing API key here, click on this I uh, the three dot that time you will be get the two option click on regenerate. Click on regenerate API key. Copy this one. So now we are successfully generated API key inside Postman who are signing user. Okay. So now this API key I'm going to be passed inside Postman at header. Right. Go to Postman. So after create an account, you should download and install Postman. After done this postman installations, you should log in with your uh, register account. That time you will be get the screen. Go to this workspace. Here you can find my workspace and postman, the different workspaces available. So if you want to uh, go to this public workspace also fine. But anyway, I have my workspace. I keep on some API URLs in my workspace. Okay. Here, go to this Postman API. You can find this Postman API under Postman public workspace itself. Anyway, I'm going to be directly explained inside public workspace. Go to this Postman API. Here you can find different collections available. Go to the first collections. Click on get all collections. Good. Here you can find you are not able to send this button because you should create a fork which is going to be update inside my workspace okay that's what i'm going to be choose my workspace the same url it will be updated inside my workspace there you can able to perform the send operation okay the same you can go to the postman api go to collections get 
here you can see that uh, url and http request will be updated properly so now you can able to do the send action okay so anyway it will be updated those header things i'm going to be click on send let's see what will be given the response body here you can see authentication error which is invalid api key we didn't provide any api key where we already registered inside postman site right but you can see under params also we didn't pass any parameters authorizations also we didn't pass any authorization credential under headers you can find we didn't pass any api key right but this is the default things related this url now we are going to be pass this uh, api key under headers because if you are passing api key inside uh, params it will be show you in url also let's show you api key paste here you can see this api key you can able to find inside um, this url itself but i don't want pass as a parameter this api key i'm going to be pass inside header which is hidden from url so come to here type as api so after type as api this is the right api key key uh, name choose this one now you can paste this api key which is we copied from here so now i'm going to be click on send still i'm getting this authentication error so what we missed out go to this authorization click this type uh, list box here you can choose api key here also you can find key and value see this little bit okay click on here see add to header or query parameters do you want to pass this key and value under header or query params now we are going to be perform header right i'm going to be choose header 1 the key was api key value was api key value so now i'm going to be click on send let's see this is the right response which is we get it now so this is the way you should pass api key inside headers see here also we can updated if you are updated api key here itself you should choose this authorization then only this api key will support okay so this is the way you should pass api key in headers at postman okay thank you guys